If you're a professional commodities trader looking to add more systematic strategies to your portfolio, or you're a beginner just getting into systematic trading for the first time, you want the confidence that you have the right trading platform set up so that you can monitor your systems, your orders, your positions, and your profits all in real time. Today, we're gonna be looking at the TradeStation trading platform, and we'll talk about the two building blocks that you need to know about so you can monitor your systems and positions with ease. And I think we can do all that in under under five minutes, so let's go. Hi everyone, it's Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research in Geneva, Switzerland. My goal is to make you a more profitable trader with commodity market insights and real systematic trading strategies. And a big part of being a successful systematic trader is being able to add more and more diversified trading systems and being able to monitor all of those systems and positions and profits in real time. So the two building blocks that we're gonna go through today to build the perfect trade station desktop, a chart so that we can add the correct commodity future futures contract that we want to be analyzing and trade, and then we can add a system to that chart and begin automated trading. And the second building block is a cockpit where we can view the positions, the strategy orders, the profits from all the different charts we add. So we can eventually add 5, 10, 15, 20 different automated trading systems and easily keep track of them all. The first thing we're going to do is open up a workspace, add a chart, and add the correct futures commodity that we want to be trading, in this case, the cocoa market. So this is what TradeStation looks looks like right out of the box as if we had just loaded up this trading platform. In this case, we're gonna go to chart analysis. The chart is loading, let's maximize it. We can go to customize. And because we're gonna be looking at the Coco market, we type at CC for the continuous contract. We're gonna be looking at 600 minute bars and let's go back to 20. 10, looking at the exchange time. Now our chart is loaded with 600 minute bars. So each one of these price bars represents 10 hours of data. We can go to studies, add in a strategy, and here we go. Let's add our Scylla strategy on Coco 600 minute bars. Okay. If I go up to data, look at a strategy performance report, there's a nice upward sloping equity curve. So I know the strategy has been added correctly. Now we need to take one more important step before we begin live trading, and that is we need to tell TradeStation the correct futures contract to reference. We've set up this chart using at CC, which is the ticker for the continuous contract, meaning TradeStation has knitted together all these different contract months going back, in this case, 10 years. So we need to tell TradeStation we want to trade the March contract, not the continuous contract. So how can we do that? How can we add the correct contract? We can go to time frame, customize, and instead of just at CC, we're gonna type at CCH22. So it's referencing that March 2022 contract. Now I'm gonna add one more symbol to this chart, and that is I'm gonna add back the continuous contract for Coco. Now, why am I gonna do that? I'm gonna do that because I wanna make sure that when I'm referencing referencing this March contract that it's the same price as the continuous contract. Eventually, over time, when that contract rolls to the next contract, I wanna always make sure that I'm referencing the correct contract and trading the correct contract to match this continuous contract. So we've created our chart, we've added our trading system to the chart, and we've also added that nice continuous contract below so we can always check that we're trading the correct futures month contract. So that's it, we are done with our chart. Now you might say, I see this chart, that's it's great, but how do I watch my positions? How do I watch my profits? How do I keep track of everything? We're now gonna build a cockpit so that we can watch the orders and positions and profits from this chart, as well as any other charts that we'd wanna add in the future. So what does that look like in TradeStation? I'm simply gonna go down to the bottom here, press plus to add a new workspace. Now, instead of adding a chart like we did before, I'm gonna be adding trade managers. So let's click on trade manager. I now have my first trade manager up where I can see my strategy positions, but I want to add three more trade managers where I can see strategy positions, actual positions, strategy orders, and my account balances. To add more trade manager windows like this to this same workspace, I can go up to file, do new application, and go down to trade manager, or I can just click, click control alt a each time. So here's my second trade manager. Now I'll just press control alt a. There's my third trade manager, and I'm going to create a fourth trade manager and put it down here. Now I've reorganized these windows a little bit, but this is the order that I generally 
prefer. I prefer to show strategy positions, then actual market positions, strategy orders, and then my account balances. Now, this is just a small demo account that we have. We actually have two small discretionary wheat positions in the account, but no active automated system. So let's turn on that Coco system that we added before and see how we can watch it in our cockpit. So let's jump back to the workspace and chart that we created earlier. There's our Coco trading system. We can go to studies, edit strategies, generate strategy orders, and then automate them. I agree with account confirmation off, meaning I do not have to confirm when trades come through. TradeStation is automatically going to trade this system on my behalf. Okay. Now with my trading system activated, I can go back to my cockpit and this is great. I can now see that under my strategy positions, TradeStation is now telling me that I should have a short March Coco position that has made about $2,000 of PL. If I look at the chart, I can see that the system last went short right here. So the system has made money by going short here. But unfortunately, I can see that for position match, I do not have that position, right? That position is not an actual position. It is a strategy position only. So how can I remedy this? How can I add an actual position to match my strategy position? I can simply right click here, create a quick trade that'll pop up and I want to sell one contract for the correct account, sell at market order filled and there we go. I now have a short cocoa position and my position match is true. So I am now 100% good to go. I've got my chart, my system loaded for cocoa. I have the correct cocoa short position in the market and via my cockpit, I've got a way to watch it all. I can see my position, my orders and my strategy profits. Now, if I want to add more automated trading systems to my portfolio, I can simply open up another workspace similar to the workspace that we created for Coco before. Go to File, Workspace, Open Workspace, and I can choose one of my previously built workspace systems. This chart for heating oil is now loaded. I can see the strategy performance report. And if we were to turn this strategy on, we would see the strategy position in the cockpit, similar to how we saw that Coco strategy position just a few minutes ago. And one quick note, of course, when you're done building all your workspaces in your desktop, don't forget to save your workspace spaces and don't forget to save your desktop. So you're now 100% set. You've got your chart, you've got your cockpit, you've got the ability to now add lots of new charts and lots of new trading systems. Now, if you're looking for more great trading systems like the ones that we built for cocoa and heating oil, you can go to peakalgo.com. We have the world's largest community built strategy library. If you want to get started with TradeStation, you can head to tradestation.com. We are not affiliated with TradeStation, but it's a great trading platform. And if there's anything you would do to make this perfect trade station desktop even more perfect, please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Good luck with your trading and we'll see you soon.